At TalkBox, we make OpenTalk, which is a cloud-based platform that makes it easy to embed live video directly into web or mobile applications. Over the last year, there's been a tremendous evolution in the space. A little over a year ago, Chrome introduced WebRTC in a production support in their Chrome browser. And since then, we've gone from essentially no endpoints supporting WebRTC on the planet to now over a billion. It's the fastest growing communication standard in the history of communications. What's been fascinating about that uh, has been to see the range of use cases that have started to evolve from the very first days when people said, oh great, I can connect two browsers together and people can talk to each other, to now use cases that span from medicine to education, customer service, retail, an entire range of applications that we're starting to see customers start to deliver inside their applications. The great thing about WebRTC is it has brought really high quality live video and live audio directly into the browser without needing any kind of plugin. So what that means is you can go to a website and immediately inside uh, the web context you can start to see somebody else and talk to somebody else. If it's a customer service environment, you might be talking to a customer service rep. If it's a classroom, you might be talking to four or five other students along with a teacher. You can do that without plugging anything in, without having to configure anything, just by simply saying, yes, turn on my camera. That is a huge step forward for ease of use, and it really makes live video and live audio a first-class citizen in the web. By moving WebRTC to being a first-class citizen, it all of a sudden becomes open for many different kinds of applications. And business can start to take advantage of it because it's just there in the ecosystem. They don't need to do anything special. What we do at OpenTalk is we take the WebRTC standard and we wrap it in a set of APIs that make it even easier to use and also start to deliver the functionality that you really need to deliver enterprise-grade applications. Because WebRTC on its own is a great standard, but it's not actually enough to build enterprise-grade commercial apps.